Okay, Valentina. So let me just uh, take you through. Uh, we're also going to be screen sharing. So uh, first of all, the certificate. Some of you already got the certificate, but I suggest you do it again because I changed it. Instead of a certificate of participation, it's going to say certificate of completion. And then it'll say Moodle MOOC 2 instead of just Moodle MOOC. Okay, that was uh, one of the things that Harriet noticed. And thank you. I want to thank you, Harriet, for that. Okay, so wait uh, a few days and we'll get that sorted out. I think it may be already ready. You could always go in there and take the, uh, <laughs> and you can take the certificate as many times as you can. Okay, so this is something that uh, feel free to do. In addition, I'm going to share a video that I created to make life easier for you. Did I tell you that the certificate, not the certificate, the uh, badge for this session is available? I'll get it for you as well as the PowerPoint presentation. It's in the uh, course feed. Let's see if I can get that in there. Uh, no. It looks like, um, oh, hello, Nancy. Good to see you. It looks like I just missed it. Sorry about that. I was just thinking about you a couple of hours ago, and here you are. Okay, is that a coincidence, or is that a coincidence? Okay, so there it is. Okay, there we are. <laughs> okay, so there's Claim Your Badge. All right. Okay, so... What you're going to do is you're going to describe and reflect. Okay, make sure that you also describe the class that you are in and then reflect, not just reflect. Now, by reflecting, you don't criticize or you put yourself and you talk about yourself. Okay, what did you get out of it? Uh, what did you learn about yourself? Don't forget it's... Uh, Transpersonal, which means that you're trying to grow as a result of some of these live sessions. So uh, think about yourself and what you got out of it and what you're going to do as a result. So it's a very proactive kind of reflection. If you're not sure about how to reflect, hello, Helena, good to see you, then look at take a look okay online write the word reflect how to reflect and so on and you'll find lots of information on getting something out of the reflection so it's not just writing you know for the sake of writing something but it's really getting deep into yourself and growing as a result of the reflection all right so how are you going to get this you're going to go into the course the uh, course for those of you who need the link to the course, um, let me get it for you, unless someone can do it before I do. All right, so uh, the link to the course is right here. Okay, I'm going to get it for you to make sure that you have it. So you go into the course. Here is the link to uh, Moodle MOOC 1 and 2, actually, but this is to one to 2. Okay, there's the link. I've just added it to the chat box. Okay. Happy Halloween. And it's also Dawaldi. It's also um, the holiday of lights. I think it's starting tomorrow or tonight. So you go into the courseware. And in the courseware, you'll find tutorials, which are the PowerPoint presentation, the YouTube videos that I've added, and so on. In addition, and notice there are 62 of them. In addition... There are 20 classes, but I think there are more than 20 classes. It's supposed to be 22 classes, okay, as far as I know. So out of the 20 or 22 live sessions, you choose 10. That's not a lot, just 10. Reflect on half of them. Okay, so here we are, 10. So if you go into the courseware, there'll be a list. If you click on the classes, you get a list of about 20 of them and you choose 10. And you're going to describe and reflect on the 10 live classes. Okay, if you've got questions, just feel free to add them to the chat. Now, where are you going to reflect? Okay, that's the question. Well, you're going to reflect 
in what's called a glossary. Now, what is a glossary? Let's see, I'm testing your uh, knowledge. What is a glossary on Moodle? Okay, we're talking about Moodle. So what's, uh, what's a glossary on Moodle? Okay, let's see. Glossary on a Moodle. First of all, it's an activity. And every activity involves the participant, the students, not just the uh, instructor or the teacher. So I'm waiting. Nobody knows what a glossary is. Are you checking? Okay, I see your time. It's very good, Nancy. I was just, you read my mind. It's like a dictionary. Okay, it's by alphabetical order and it also goes by topic. And you can add information, it's sort of like a wiki, but it's a place to keep information, to share information. And there are two glossaries. There's one glossary. Oh, it still says, okay, well, it'll say, if not, uh, next week, okay, early next week. Um, if not this weekend, okay, so wait a couple of days. Moodle for Teachers Beginners. There are two courses on Moodle for Teachers. And the other one is Moodle for Teachers for Non-Beginners. So you go into one of those. And uh, before I say thank you, and let me just uh, screen share and take you there. And then I'm going to say thank you to Moodle 2. Point, Moodle MOOC 2 and then go on to Moodle MOOC 3. Okay, so uh, let me just go through this screen sharing confirmation <laughs> that I get from from my Mac. Okay, the Macs are really funny. Okay, so let me go into the Moodle Moot. Okay, Moodle uh, for teachers. So let me just go in. Okay, yeah, that's going to take a couple of seconds depending on your system. In this case, uh, my system. Okay, and while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to go to the um, course, okay, and show you uh, while that's loading and show you where the courseware is. Okay, this is where the live classes and content is okay so these are the classes by the way did anyone copy the uh, chat in the last class because Robin needs it okay so these are the live classes okay it says 20 I thought there were more oh and it's still taking time um, Okay, um, I suggest you choose something that's not related to the Moodle, but related to the transpersonal classes that we had. Okay, so it's actually it's not 20, it would be something like I think 15. Okay, I'm still waiting for some reason, it's not going through. Um, I guess my system must be slow or something. Um, there. I'm in a uh, different place. Okay, so let's wait till that. It's not, I don't think it's going to initialize because um, I'm on a Mac and I'm somewhere where I shouldn't be. Okay, I. Uh, I don't know why I decided to come here, but it's definitely causing problems. Okay, here I am. I'm in. Okay, so you can see the Moodle for Teachers. There's Thomas. He was checking. Thank you, Thomas, for checking the certificates. Okay, so there's the video on the certificates. You go into either Moodle for Teachers uh, Beginners 
or you go into Moodle for Teachers non-beginners. I'm going to go into Moodle for Teachers beginners. Okay, that's quite fast now. And then I'm going to go into the last, the end, the very, very end where it says Certificate of Participation. And we're going to change that to um, Completion. Okay, and then once if you have to do the other tasks, you have to add the reflections. Once you add 10 of the reflections, you click on this, it'll be open. It won't be grayed out the way it is now. Hmm. Seems to be pretty slow. I guess because I'm screen sharing, everything is a lot slower. At least that's what it seems. Yeah, it's very, very slow because of screen sharing. I don't think that uh, Macs are very good with um, with Java because they really give me a hard time. Okay, in any case, you go in there. Let's see if I can go in there later on. You go in there. I won't stop screen sharing, um, and I'll try it again. And then I'll show you what happens. All right, so I'd like to thank you for uh, taking part in uh, Moodle MOOC 2 this month and go on to Moodle MOOC 3. Okay, now what's going to happen in Moodle MOOC 3? Let's see if that's uh, open. No, it hasn't opened yet. Yeah, it seems to be really stuck. It's pretty stuck. Okay, let's see if we can get in there later on. Uh, let me stop screen sharing. All right, so what's going to happen is you're going to see other activities. Okay, the same resources. We're not adding new resources, uh, but new activities. Right now, what you've seen are these. Okay, these are all 2.5 and up. As you know, a 2.6 is on its way. Uh, Martin is making a lot of new changes. Uh, one of the reasons is uh, my complaint, and <laughs> not just my complaint, but people were complaining about the login. As you noticed, I'm going to go back. The login is very, very slow on the Moodles. And um, he's working on that now so that it could be a lot faster. And when I say login, it, sometimes Moodle gets very, very slow. I don't know if you've experienced it. I'm sure you have. It gets very, very slow and it's very annoying. All right, so right now you see it's still September. Well, that's because I took it out in September the first time, but it's still participation. Okay, so what you have to do, uh, let me go back. You need to uh, do the assignments. It's the same in, uh, in the two Moodle for Teacher courses. So what you have to do is you go into the uh, task. So you click on the task. And what you see, this is the glossary. For those who didn't know, it goes by alphabetical order. You can browse by category. You can browse by, uh, okay, there are no categories. Browse by dates or browse by author. And this is tracked. Okay, so we've got authors here, and you can see that Anastasia has, um, okay, all her, okay, and then Pam has a few, but you need to have 10, okay, no less than 10. Okay, so if we go to Thomas, for example, and Harriet, I believe you got yours, your certificates. I see one of our speakers also took. Uh, that's nice to see. It's nice to see that the speakers are also involved, uh, as you can see. Uh, let's see, it's not... Yeah, it's really slow because of the uh, screen sharing. Anyway, this is one of the things that um, we're going to... So how do you do it? You simply um, click on Add a New Entry. Okay, whoa, is it ever stuck? 
yeah it's the screen sharing it's not even clicking so you go into add a new entry and then you're prompted and just follow um, from there okay you should get a rich editor and continue so let me so we're going to have um, some new activities in uh, Moodle MOOC 3 and that's a surprise one is help if you've got some that you'd like us to add just uh, send me an email and I'll add them the blocks are going to be pretty much uh, the same there's no change in the blocks the blocks are a way that you can uh, arrange your Moodle page the layout um, these are very basic things that you're going to uh, experience again and that's the user you're going to learn about the user uh, resources activities and the blocks every course has that uh, we're going to update I'm not sure whether we'll get to 2.6 but we will be um, updating the Moodle so it's not going to be 2.5 only it's going to be a little bit higher so we can get some more things and practice that's the key okay you're gonna have a chance to practice continue practicing here here we are so uh, reflecting on live sessions you're gonna add a concept or a title uh, definition in other words here you write your uh, reflection describe and then reflect on the live session put the link to the session okay you've got the, you can hyperlink words you can add the video of the session anything else that you wish okay and then you click on save changes you can add images through here as well if you want to add a video you click uh, you click on that and you go into the sound you've got YouTube video you go into the video and then you can write uh, I think I have a video here no I don't uh, you can add the link to the video and it should work if it doesn't work it means the video is too uh, new it happens with new videos it takes a while before it initializes so we're talking about the Moodle for teachers beginners and then there's also the non beginners practice is very very important because we forget and by the way if you make mistakes or if things don't go say thank you because one of the oh hello um, Annette one of the best ways to retain information is to make mistakes because the minute you make mistakes you're going to try to fix it and you won't forget it that easily so practice practice in the Moodle for teachers and don't be afraid okay that's really important not to be afraid to practice okay so Moodle MOOC 3 will be starting in February 2013 and I'd like to take you there right now okay so uh, I'm not screen sharing anymore so uh, let me go back to screen sharing you will be able to see that I was showing uh, some a few screens before you'll be able to see this on YouTube yeah the help desk exactly I don't know if it's called help desk I think it's called help um, because it offers it's not just help about technical things it's help about everything okay so it's going to be um, really good okay so let me go back to uh, reflecting okay so this is how you do it you add the information you can add videos of course okay you can add the link here to YouTube videos by either adding a title or the link okay and that's how it's done it's very easy okay now let's go back to um, okay we're going to go into Moodle MOOC 3 okay this is what it looks like okay uh, some people have joined already okay there's the link I'll get the link for you if you haven't joined and it's the same thing courseware live classes content there aren't any live classes yet about the course and this is really exciting notice that the themes it's Moodle 2.5 plus theories and practice active learning teaching as a way to learn learning and teaching online creating engaging activities collaborative learning which is the theme teaching and learning in the live WizIQ class 
there's the information and look at the list of speakers okay we've got may may fox jason r levine cheryl again uh brian alexander the one of the two people who uh coined the term mooc dr carol engler graham stanley who's really uh an incredible uh, speaker, Sylvia Gunan, Lenander, Zor Babin, who's going to be talking about Kaltura, Dr. Maggie McPherson, you've got their countries, Mubarak Akadar, Amy Tucker, Kim Bohan, an English teacher and Second Life guru, Dr. Norm Frizen, uh, and Indita, Eba is going to be back, Ramesh, Rachel. You see a lot of people are coming back. Uh, Dr. Tony Carr from South Africa, who's involved in a lot of conferences to get South African educators involved in technology. Dr. Willis Marnova, myself, Angela Mayers uh, is going to present. Shelley Sanchez, Terrell, Onen Gessler, who's originally from Israel, but he's been living in Canada since he was a kid. He's a funny guy. <laughs> He's a comedian. He's a comedian teacher. Uh, Nikki Hockley, who's currently, I believe, these people are traveling. It's amazing. She's in India. Jason West and Joel Josephson, who's very involved in TED Talks, in European uh, collaborative. He's got lots of uh, really interesting work, very passionate about sharing. Okay, so that's um, a little bit of the speakers. So we've got a, a list. Maybe others will join as well. All right, so Moodle MOOC 3 is going to be in February 2014. Again, what is read? The course feed. What's another word for course feed? If you could just add that in the chat box. What's a course feed? It feeds courses. It reminds me of IBM. So what is a course feed? Course feed. We're looking forward to um, your presentation, Harriet, and I hope it's going to be very soon because participants become presenters. I think that maybe Robin is going to present too. We also have the Connecting Online CO14 and it's uh, in its sixth year. So the uh, sixth annual CO14 Connecting Online. And um, we've got some interesting presenters there too. That's going to take place from the 7th to the 9th. So what is a course feed? Course feed. What is it? What is the red? Course feed? No. A course feed is a. That's it. It's a discussion forum. It's like a chat. You're right. It's like a discussion for courseware. And I, everybody should be able to do that. In the courseware, there is the content. Okay, that's the content, PowerPoint, uh, and the live classes. Contact provider, that's uh, whoever's in charge of the course. Course Learners is uh, the 189 right now. The highlights, I've already read to you, so you know what that is. And these are the presenters close up. How many of you um, know any of these? Do you know? Maybe I should ask, uh, whom do you not know? Anyone that you don't know? That's right, Valentina. The course feed is where everybody, not just participants, but everybody can add their opinions. That's right. It's just a discussion form. But it's like a chat. I agree, um, Thomas, that it's uh, very much like a chat. And right now it doesn't have a rich editor, Tiny MC, but it will. I've been bugging was IQ to get one. You do. That's great. Uh, but if you add a link, it becomes um, active. So that's the only good thing about it. It's like almost like a Facebook chat. 
in a lot of ways. So Nancy says, everybody but seven of them. Fox, you know Fox, Mamie Fox, she spoke already about happiness. Now she's going to be talking about love. Should be really exciting. Um, what is love? Um, she is a writer at Huffington. Uh, Levine is Jason R. Levine, Nancy. That's Jason R. Levine. And Cheryl, you've heard Cheryl. Uh, so in brackets are people that you do know, I guess, not the other way around. Yeah, okay. I thought you meant, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so um, you're going to meet these people. I think it's going to be really, really exciting. Okay, they've already added, they're trying to find the right time. So let's moodle. And I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you continue. The course, as I said, is going to continue Continue practicing in the uh, Moodle practice area. For those who don't know, here is the uh, Moodle for teachers. And do practice. Don't be afraid to practice, especially if there are people there. Once people leave, it becomes um, very lonely. So you're invited to uh, practice as much as you can right now in the course practice area uh, and the course practice area for those who uh, want to know the course practice area is right here okay it's right here you go into home okay so here it is course practice area let's see if it goes any faster now And there's something called, ah, it did go faster. Okay, so here's the course practice area. It's right in between the Moodle for beginners and Moodle for non-beginners. And here it is, the Moodle practice area. If you go in there, you are automatically a teacher. That means that all you need to do, and practice, have fun. Create your own um, area and do. Okay, so what you do the minute you get in is you go to the top right, turn editing on. If you don't turn editing on, you're not going to be able to, oops, you're not going to be able to do very much. Okay, so turn editing on. The minute you do that, okay, you'll be able to make changes. So what you do is you grab a section. You see these are sections that people took. Right in the middle, you go until you find something that is open look at harriet she's done so much amazing amazing um you're taking advantage of the situation that is wonderful so you, let's say i want to go into topic 21 nobody has taken it so i'm going to go into this by going into activity in the activity i'll choose label there's label i'll click on add label wait a few seconds Okay, and then I'll add my name. But notice I'll have to wait a little bit because um, this is exactly what Martin's talking about. Sometimes Moodle is fast and sometimes not. So it says show editing tools. I click on that. This is something new. And then I can make this bigger by going into toggle to full screen. And then I can add my name. Um, okay, I'm going to call this... Nelly. I think I added Nelly. Let me add Nelly. Oops, there I did. Okay, I'm going to add Nelly. Okay, there we go. And then I'll go back to this area. I'm going to go back into the toggle that will make it smaller. And then I'm going to save. Okay, there it is. Just a little thing. Save. And once I save, Let's see, it's not opening. It'll open in a second. Okay, so you click on the play around. Don't be afraid. There's nothing that you can do wrong. Okay, you can't harm anything. If you do something and you don't like it, delete it. Just make sure you don't go into somebody else's territory. Okay, so uh, anyways, once you do that, 
um, it'll get okay now it's slow again and by the way if you're an admin admins only always find it slower okay so now I'm back here so I'm gonna scroll down until I get to Nelly that's my section that was 20 what was it there it is 21 okay so I'm now I'm in 21 and I'm gonna go to the right there's my name Nelly I'm gonna go to add an activity and then I can play around with all of these I wonder if what the certificate looks like. I know that I made some changes, but I don't see it anymore. Okay, and you can design your certificate. You can do anything, just play around with it. Okay, don't be afraid to play around, save and see what happens. Okay, so go into the Moodle practice area and practice. Okay, don't be afraid. Okay, just grab a section and try things out by going to activity and that's it okay let's go back to class let me stop sharing that's it okay so are there any questions oh yes Annette sorry about that it's Halloween right <laughs> there we go there it is okay that's the link to uh, Moodle MOOC 3 You'll be able to practice um, until the end of uh, January, I guess, somewhere around mid, the end, end of January, and then I'm going to kick everybody out. Okay, so you've got lots of time to practice and practice and practice. Okay and ask questions, of course. If you're interested, uh, we're going to have Moodle. Uh, if you want our Moodle now, we're going to have Moodle for Teachers Evo 1-4. If you want to join, if you want to join as a facilitator, uh, Thomas is going to co-facilitate, Ludmilla, Nancy, if you have time, or Helena. If you'd like to help out, Harriet, if you'd like to help out, uh, let me know and I'll add you. Um, when is uh, Moodle for Teachers Evo. It's starting in January. I think it's January 13. Is that a Sunday, a Monday? Um, or 14, something like that. And it's going to be on uh, Moodle. It's going to be on Moodle for Teachers. It's already there, actually. I'm just playing around with it. Um, it's right there. It's on Moodle for Teachers. I think it's even open. It's on Moodle for Teachers, Nancy. So it's, um, again, it's on Moodle for Teachers uh, org. But right now they're giving um, a course on how to uh, facilitate online courses. So if you're interested, this is your chance to learn how to be a facilitator. So uh, this is uh, mostly for English teachers, but it's not only for English teachers, language teachers. Uh, it's part of the call computer mediated uh, language learning. Yeah, so I think it's a good way. You'll learn a lot. Okay, and I think that you would like it. It's on PBWorks and on Yahoo. <laughs> okay, it's a Yahoo group. It's old. It's 10 years old. Uh, that's how long this has been going on. So uh, let me know and I'll add you. Oh, I don't know. That's not something that uh, we're talking about, but uh, might be interesting to think about. Oh, so you, you do want Nancy. Okay, so I'll add you. Uh, in addition, we're going to have a Moodle, not a Moodle, sorry, a MOOC. Uh, Second Life MOOC, and we're also going to have Healthy Living MOOC in addition. That's going to be a yearly thing as well. Yes. All right, so any questions? Again, feel free to add them in the chat. Questions? Annette, you want to join too? Uh, that would be great. All right, so please email me 
And uh, are you familiar with Moodle, Annette? Because the course is, uh, is Moodle. It's teaching Moodle, so you really have to know. Oh, you are? Fantastic. That would be great because we get a lot of participants. Uh, we've had over 200, 300, sometimes 400, which could be a lot of work. So there's my email, uh, Annette. If you can get in touch with me, that would be great. All right, so uh, that's it's a good way to learn, you know, because uh, actually teaching is the best way to learn. We all know that. So, uh, all right, so email me, Helena. We've got Thomas, Annette, and Nancy. Great. Okay, so uh, no questions? You have a question? All right, so thank you very much, everybody. Uh, some of you are going to sleep in Europe, and others are uh, going to have a nice afternoon, I guess. Okay, Helena's going to bed. All right, so thank you very, very much for coming. And, uh, oh, that's great. So you're going to have dinner at 4, 5 o'clock. Wonderful. 6 o'clock early dinner. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. This is being recorded and it will be on YouTube without anybody's names or the chat. Oh, you didn't answer me. Did anybody um, copy the chat in Robin's session? Anybody copy that? No. Oh, you did, Thomas. So could you send it? Because uh, Robin, that's excellent. Robin wants, um, she wants to add it to her website or somewhere. All right. So thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye. Have a wonderful weekend. Trick or treat. That's right.